Okay, it's time for Weathers School Wednesday with Professor Brandon Weathers. <laughs> what do you have in store for us this week? Well, you know, I thought I would take a look at some terrain-induced phenomenon, something called Chinook winds that happens generally not in the Northland, but I'm going to apply how that process can influence our weather here. Okay, let's check it out. When it comes to terrain, the Northland certainly isn't the Rocky Mountains. However, we do have enough peaks for the terrain to affect our weather. Let's start with a terrain-induced phenomenon often talked about in other parts of the U.S., Chinook winds. Chinook winds begin with warm, moist air hitting the mountains and being forced upwards, causing moisture to condense into precipitation. As the air rises, it cools. Once the cooler air passes over the mountain, it sinks. The air dries and warms as it descends. As a result, the air on the leeward slopes is warmer than on the windward slopes. The descending air warms at the dry adiabatic lapse rate, which is a temperature change of about 5.5 degrees Fahrenheit for every 1,000 feet. The term Chinook originated along the Pacific Northwest coast to describe warm winds moving in from the ocean. It was named for the people indigenous to that region. The phrase has become common across the Rocky Mountains, pronounced as Chinook, to describe downslope warming caused by prevailing westerly winds. But the same process can happen anywhere with enough of a change in elevation. The greatest elevation change in Minnesota is across the North Shore. Eagle Mountain, the highest point in the state, is 2,300 feet above sea level. Mere miles away, Lake Superior has an elevation around 600 feet. Keeping in mind the dry adiabatic lapse rate, a north-northwest wind over that change in elevation can cause warming of around 9 degrees Fahrenheit. The elevation change in the Twin Ports isn't as impressive as it is in Grand Marais, but it is still enough to affect our temperatures. The official Duluth temperature is recorded at the Duluth International Airport at an elevation of 1,428 feet. The by the lake temp we always talk about is at the Sky Harbor Airport at 610 feet. A northwest wind here can cause warming of around 4 degrees Fahrenheit. This is important because of the notion that it's always cooler by Lake Superior is a myth. On a hot summer day, a gentle east wind can keep the temperature by Lake Superior a good 30 degrees below the temperature on the hill. However, if that wind shifts out of the west, downslope warming can push the Sky Harbor Airport even further into the 90s than Duluth International. Wow, yeah, I always thought that by the lake would be cooler. Right. You know, Lake Superior, everyone talks about how that affects our weather here, but it's not the only influencer on our weather, so that's yeah. uh, the terrain piece of it. That is awesome. Thanks, Brandon.